One of the new features introduced with ODAS Imagine 2016 is the soft copy image processing standard image chains. Uh, to compare, let's go ahead and open uh, an image using the standard raster display mode. We'll do a fit to frame. And you can see this true color display of a multispectral image is quite dark. There's a little contrast on the right hand side uh, and all throughout the image. Whereas if instead we open as an image chain, the exact same image, also fit to frame. You will see that on the right, uh, a lot more uh, contrast and throughout the whole image, uh, much brighter, more contrasty, uh, more natural looking image display. To see that in a little bit more detail, let's go ahead and link these views and perhaps zoom on this golf course. And you can see on the right, using the SIPS image chain, uh, more natural looking vegetation, more contrast, more visual interpretation of the data is possible. The same is true with panchromatic information. Clear the views. Go ahead and open a panchromatic image the normal old fashioned way. And using the new SIPS image chain. And again, you can see on the right, uh, much brighter, uh, more contrast available in the panchromatic data. Since we've decided that we prefer the SIPS image chain mode of display, we're going to go ahead and close the other 2D view and just concentrate on our uh, SIPS raster display. And we wish to drive to a particular coordinate. So we're going to bring up the inquire cursor, change to uh, the grid reference system, type in a new coordinate and drive to that location. We wish to enhance this particular uh, feature in our data. We'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more and go ahead and look at some of the other capabilities introduced with SIPS. One of the primary ones is the ability to perform Lagrange resampling. So besides nearest neighbor, bilinear, bicubic, uh, cubic convolution, we now have Lagrange resampling. Um, and we also on the SIPS tab have uh, sharpness, families of filters, tonal transfer curves, and dynamic range adjustment capabilities. So we can go ahead and sharpen our imagery, perhaps a little too sharp, we'll back it off a little bit in this particular family, and we can affect the tonal transfer curve as well. Pick a different family, a little bit brighter, just until we get it the way we want to uh, visualize the data that we are looking at. So new ways of displaying by default data and enhancing it on the fly.